hi guys yes <laughs> you might realize i'm batch editing these it's totally fine um like i said my husband's home today so it's um, easier for me to put these together for you guys um, as i've been photographing my babies along the way so today is our fifth video um there are four more videos before this that kind of show you how i photograph my kids at home really simply really easy um whether it's curated or not um candid or posed um it's me with my babes at home and it's been really um brought me so much joy so i hope you guys have um, enjoyed this series so far always reach out if you have questions i love feeling helpful um and if i don't answer hopefully i do um make sure that you send a message in a different modality and i will surely um catch up with you so anyway today's video um is ca cars <laughs> cars um luke's favorite thing is playing with cars and aubrey has always been interested in them but she just has started being able to push them and it's so fun seeing their emerging play skills together come to be the the speech pathologist in me is just like oh i love it um and so i was like oh my gosh they're playing with cars and so i hurried up and got my camera out it was they were totally in bad lighting i didn't care um so you'll kind of see and hear me talk through that um in my lightroom um video that's going to come and i took some iphone footage really quickly um but i wanted to be quick when i um, used my iphone because i wanted to hurry and get the pictures before aubrey moved on and started crawling over to something else so um this is just a reminder that if something precious is happening don't pick them up and move them closer to the window because who knows if they'll be doing it there when you move them um it was just a sweet time and so i hurried and picked my camera up even though um it wasn't very close to the window to natural light didn't have a flash on my camera all the things um used high iso um so the photo is a little bit grainy but they're so sweet to me and so i hope you guys are just catching along for um, maybe anticipating what i'm thinking in my head and what i'm the actions i might be taking and you might be thinking aha Lindsay's probably going to do this when she edits them um but i've just i've been so encouraged by you guys i'm loving kind of connecting with y'all and um knowing that i can help you guys photograph um your family at home save memories i truly feel like on the other side of this having either journal entries i love journaling i've been trying to journal at least have a page a day just kind of like how i'm feeling and prayers and thoughts and um all kinds of things but um i truly think that having these photos on the other side too is gonna really make us remember the feelings understand what we're going through and um, help us to kind of sort through and find the beauty in it so um reach out i love connecting with you guys i'm gonna go ahead and start jumping into luke and aubrey playing with cars aubrey oh okay so we were just hi sweet girl we were just playing cars luke was sitting here and i'm here so there's window light coming in here, but it's really not that much. Um, that light's on, these lights are on, and there's like orange reflecting up from the car, from the floor. Um, but I just thought, oh my gosh, Aubrey's so cute playing with us, pushing this car. Aubrey, Aubrey. That I'm gonna take a few pictures and just show you what my lighting situation is and how this is candidly happening right now. Ooh. And I wanna take a picture. <gasps> Luke, isn't it so cute? Ah. Let's do it. <gasps> and so you'll see kind of how. A candid moment turned into a few pictures. Oh. What are you looking for? All right, go for it. Crash cars. Oh, Woo! Woo! so kind of like I had said, um, Luke, Luke and Aubrey just started playing um, with his cars. And this is Luke's favorite thing is to play with these cars. And Aubrey has just started... Um, being interested in playing well no she's been interested for a while but she just started actually like being able to push them and play with him and so I picked up my camera really quick and this is where it was happening and so I just you know didn't put them in the best light I didn't want to change what was happening I just wanted to capture the moment and so you know it's not the best light you can look up here and see um I'm shooting at 2500 ISO which is really high um so it's a bit grainy. Um, I'm again using my 35. My aperture is always at 2.5. You typically see that. And my shutter is at 1 over 160 just to get as much light in as I could um, since it was so dark. And so again, the window is over here to my right. Um, but there's also our kitchen table and then all this orange around. So I'm going to make this one black and white just because it's easy. I'm going to come over to this one. And you can see, so I want to go back to the start. So I, I did edit this. Um, I put my preset on it. Actually, I'm going to go to where I cropped it. So this is where I cropped it. 
And then um, I took the temperature down up here to take out some of the warmth. So these are kind of some of my troubleshoots that I do. So I take out some of the warmth. I'm going to take out, so down here in this little bar, I'm going to take out some of the orange. And then the saturation bar, I'm going to take out some of the orange. See, so I'm going to show it very drastically. So this is what could happen. I'm not, obviously not going to do that much, but I'm going to do some. You just have to be really careful when you take these oranges out because um, it can take out from their skin tones and make their skin look kind of weird, which, I mean, because I didn't use a flash, like, this isn't going to be a perfectly perfect picture of their skin just because it wasn't like ideal photo settings but um i'm going to call it good and go ahead and sync these um i just thought it was so cute that they were starting to play together and it was just worth it for me oh my gosh dirty four oh <laughs> worth it to me to capture and i might just go ahead and make some of these black and white just because i like it um and again, I'm just going to love these pictures because, I mean, even, like, I know our shoe rack is messy over here, but it just reminds me of, like, how often we would go outside and play and all the things at the front door. Um, that's what I love about just being able to pick my camera up and um, take these on the go and our house not being perfect. Again, I'm there's absolutely a time for that. Like, I took pictures of Luke and Aubrey um, in a studio a few days ago, and I made sure, like, things were out of the background, angles were how I wanted them, like that was the time that I wanted things to be perfect, um, but here I just don't really mind, and I love this, so again, I'm such, I'm really just going by this straight line, this vertical line right here, um, to straighten it up, um, so here are some, some of the sink these again, like she's going for his car, and he's just so proud and watching, look, oh, I love that I caught her fingers up, and again, like, I, okay, so also, if you crop in this much on an image that is already going to be 2500 ISO, if you were to print it large, it would probably be very grainy, so just a heads up there, I normally don't crop in that much, but these are just home pictures, and they're sweet, I'm going to see what this looks like as a black and white, uh, this is, like, one of my favorites, okay, what I'm going to do, because I like it in both black and white and color, okay, I see pink in her face, I'm going to try to take some of the pink out with the green, I'm going to right click, and then do develop settings, and then, oh, no, no, no hold on, create virtual copy, sorry, I'm going to create a virtual copy, and then I'm going to make this one a black and white, so that way I have one of both, and it saves me time of deciding in that moment, do I want it to be black and white, or do I want it to be color. I'll just make both because it's easy. Okay, don't judge. This is Luke's room, but we made this fort and I thought it was just so cute. So yeah, I'm actually going over the, I'll just edit these really quick because these were lumped into this day. Um, and yeah, like clearly like it's not perfect, but um, I, we just never made it a fort like this in his room and we're about to move and it was just so cute. I uh, hooked his little iPad up on there and Again, we had never done that before, and it was just so cute to me, and he was so proud to have his veggie straws, which are his obsession, and his water down here, and his cars are right here, and it was just a cute little setup, I thought, and then I took a picture, because I was like, I think I'm going to want to remember this messy room. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I'm actually going to show these to you in another video, so um, they had a little picnic, and I'll show you those soon, but anyway, um, here are um, some indoor pictures playing with cars, and then just an added bonus, you get Luke's messy room, so anywho, I hope that this was helpful for you to kind of troubleshoot when you shoot inside, um, higher ISO, not super close to light sources, again, my lights were on in the house, um, these floors added warmth to the pictures, and you can kind of see how you can take out warmth up here and you can kind of come down here to these bars and mess around with um, taking out some of that yellow and the orange. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I will visit with you guys next time.